Every iPad keyboard should be like this. This is the Keypad Pro for iPad, something I did not know going into this video. I accidentally ended up buying this from a third party seller on Amazon because I saw that it was the exact iPad keyboard that I've been dreaming of for years. So as you can see off the bat, this iPad keyboard is extremely flexible and that's its biggest advantage. It's great for streaming, great for drawing, great for writing, great for using your iPad like a laptop. It really covers just about all the bases. It does have its shortcomings, which we'll get to, but first I'd like to start off with the positives. And I'd like to make it clear that this is not an advertisement. This is just to bring awareness to things that are actually improving the experience of working on an iPad and using it like a more serious tool. Now for our positives about this keyboard, of course, first I'd start off with the flexibility of the keyboard as a whole. As you can see already, I've flipped it into various different ways to use it. So there are about four ways that are listed by the developers where you can use this keyboard, but I actually ended up using up in five ways. As an artist, I like to have access to keyboard shortcuts, or even when I'm editing videos, I like to have access to keyboard shortcuts. So as you can see in the video right now, I'm actually, I'm drawing and I'm actually able to access the keyboard keys directly under my iPad. And you can't see it in this angle, but I actually can see the keys, which is the amazing part about this. And despite the iPad just being in the air on this stand, it's actually pretty stable. Like I actually have to press my hand down pretty hard to actually make this keyboard case move. And I think that's what's so great about it. It's very sturdy and it stays in place even when it's in the air. I actually have a laptop that functions similar to this, but I can't use it in the air. So it's kind of like I have to switch it to a tablet mode where I can't access the keys. So in that perspective, as an artist and creator, I think this is one of the best keyboards I've ever used in my life in terms of accessibility. It really speeds up my workflow, not having to try and command a shortcut key tool or just use touch shortcuts that don't actually provide me everything I'm looking for with keyboard shortcuts. I also don't have to use my iPad on a stand, like a drawing stand or anything. I can just directly use this and I feel very comfortable actually. Um, it's, it's just so stable. The creators of this keyboard also cleverly put a bunch of rubber pieces on the keyboard that will hold it down in place when you're using it for things that require precise work. So when you're using it in the writing or drawing mode, it's extremely hard to accidentally just slip out of that position. Also, as we saw earlier, this keyboard is magnetic. It doesn't connect magnetically. It connects through Bluetooth, but it connects very fast. It always boots up in about one second. It has backlit keys also that so it's not something where you have to worry about it when you're working in the dark. You can you have three different color settings, though it, it won't change color. It, it stays white, but you can make the brightness different. We also have a row of function keys, which is great. And we have a control key in case we ever need Windows commands. And I have tested this out on other devices. It can connect to other devices that aren't just an iPad. If you were ever looking to use it for that. Also, it says that this is specifically made for iPad Pro, but it fit on my 2024 M2 iPad Air with absolutely no issues. It also matches the aesthetic of the iPad, which is something I really like. I don't like when keyboards are failing to do that. Um, this has that kind of magic keyboard look, and I didn't understand how good magic keyboards look like until I actually went into an Apple store and saw it. And I was like, I need that look, and I'm glad that this achieves that. When it closes, it does it really well. It doesn't seem as if it's going to damage your iPad in any way. It does make the iPad considerably more weighty, about two times the weight, maybe even three times, but it's still very, very light. You will definitely notice a difference without it though. It's also great to be able to use this in bed. Um, this can be used in a laptop mode and it's just great. 
There's also a trackpad, which I actually don't end up using all too much, but you can use it for gestures on your iPad. And you can also disable the trackpad when you're not using it, like if it's gonna get in the way of your drawing or you're just touching your iPad when you're constantly swiping past it, you can just disable it. The last great thing about this keyboard is you can actually turn it like all the way around. And that's good when you're like trying to get a comfortable position for drawing or maybe you're lying down, you're in an uncomfortable position. Or if you just wanna watch like a show cause of course the keyboard's in the back, but from the front view, it actually looks like it's just a floating monitor and it makes your iPad really look much more uh, pristine, I guess. And that's about all the positives. I guess to get to the negatives, there aren't too many, but one big negative is the trackpad. Um, the trackpad doesn't feel the best. It's not terrible, it's definitely usable and you can definitely customize it a lot in the iPad settings. But altogether, I just think using a mouse as a whole on the iPad really still needs some work unless you're using perhaps like a trackball mouse rather than a traditional mouse. So the trackpad overall just isn't something I'm very fond of, but I learned with the iPad that usually touches your best friend anyway. So it's not something I really mind and I still do use the trackpad when I really want to. We also have the magnet, which is just a little bit weak. Um, it definitely isn't unsafe. Like your iPad is definitely in safe hands with this keyboard, but but you definitely have to make sure that you actually have your iPad snapped into the full magnet or it can be very loose because the magnet won't be strong enough to pull it back into place. And I guess the final mag negative, because there aren't many is that all else has to do with the magnet when you're switching it to different modes sometimes like let's say you're turning it all the way around like you're flipping the ipad backward it might come out of the magnet's place so yeah it's really just small magnet issues that this keyboard has for the most part now as i said in the beginning of the video i had no idea what this keyboard was when i bought it so for you guys i actually did a reverse image search with the box because I was sent it in um, a box in a different language that had a totally different name. I guess it was probably drop shipping, but I would Google reverse search the image and I came up with the keypad pro. And there's also another Kickstarter campaign for a keyboard like this that I'll also show. So I don't know how, but I guess I got extremely lucky. I bought this on Amazon for about $65 when there were only two left. And apparently this is a project that just got finished on Kickstarter recently. In fact, according to Keypad's website, the keyboard just was finished in October, 2024, but I've had this since August, 2024. And I got it for $65, but the starting price is actually $230. So, I don't I don't know exactly what's going on. I'll drop both links even though it's sold out on Amazon if it ever gets restocked so you guys can get it for cheaper. But outside of this keyboard option, there's also a keyboard coming out which seems just like it called the Type K Studio, which is a Kickstarter I've been following for a while. So it's not officially out quite yet. I think the people who backed the Kickstarter project, some of them have received their keyboard even though it seems like a lot haven't but this is a keyboard brand that has been selling keyboards for a long time so when it actually hits the market i would say this is something to look out for and i'll drop the link and this keyboard will actually be cheaper supposedly when it comes out at about 200 dollars for general people to buy it so yeah, I don't have much more to say. It's a video about keyboards, but I actually am excited about this because it really frees you up if you're doing any type of creative work on an iPad that requires you to be more serious or if you just wanna use your iPad in a familiar way like a laptop. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate if you hit a like or subscribe and just stay tuned. I'll be giving more updates on really useful appliances for 
the iPad. And if you're into art animation or tutorials for art or animation, you should really check out the other videos on my channel.